Hello, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio and welcome to our morning practice. Today we're going to be focusing on a morning practice to help inspire your creativity, give you that a little extra spark. Perhaps you have something going on today that you need a little bit more of that creative energy, that energy to solve problems and think outside the box and be really open and coming up with new ideas for your life and for living day to day. If that's what you need today, join me for this class. We're gonna be focusing on the sacral chakra, that area of the hips, which is where our creativity comes from. So the only thing you will need for this practice, and it is optional if you wanna use it, is a one blanket folded up, but you don't have to have that. You can be completely prop free if you would like. And we're just gonna start with a few deep breaths. So sitting however you feel most comfortable, taking your hands, palms up onto your lap, softening your gaze or closing your eyes. And checking in with yourself today, asking, what do I need today? And allowing that question and the answer to inspire an affirmation or an intention for your practice and for your day. My creativity is at its peak. I am creative in every aspect of my life. Creativity infuses and inspires everything that I do or whatever intention seems most close to your heart and to what you need today in your life. Using these first free, free, few breaths of the practice to really connect to your body, to your mind, what you need. and to infuse your intention or affirmation with breath, with energy. Starting to build that three-part breath, belly, chest, collarbones. And exhaling collarbones, chest, belly. Starting your day off with a full, rich, deep breath. Gently, whenever you're ready, opening your eyes. And coming into our first pose, we're going to use that blanket underneath your knee for a little bit of support here. Now you can bend and sit back on that knee. This is resting dragonfly, or you can take the foot out to the side more. I like it right underneath me. We're going to take that right leg out to the side and start with the toes facing up. So you have a 90 degree angle here, a little bit of opening for the inside of the leg, the back of the leg, and also the top of the leg. And then when and if you feel ready, starting to walk yourself and folding forward, coming down to wherever you feel comfortable. You can take the foot flatter to the floor or keep it up on the edge. You can come all the way down to the floor or stay propped up partially. Reconnecting with that three-part breath and your intention
Noticing whatever sensations come up in this pose, making adjustments. If you feel any pain or numbness or tingling, using whatever props or adjustments or variations that make sense for your body. Last minute here. Gently starting to press yourself back up, coming back to that 90 degree angle where the toes are pointing up, taking a couple of breaths here. And slowly bending in that right leg and switching sides. Bending that right leg, taking the left leg out, heel down, toes up. Nice 90 degree angle to start with here. You might find that this foot needs to go out or in. You don't wanna sit directly on it, that's okay. I prefer that, but your body may feel slightly different. And after a couple of breaths here, just let those toes start to fall forward and you start to fall forward, setting yourself up. Maybe this side you can go deeper, maybe you need a little bit more support. Checking in with your breath and whatever sensations are coming up, noticing the difference between this side and the other side. What do you feel here? Gently starting to walk your hands in and lifting yourself up, coming back to those toes up, heel down, taking a breath or two here. And unwinding. Coming back to center, maybe sitting back, taking those feet down and rocking those knees a little bit side to side.
noticing sensations that come up after the pose is over. One of my favorite parts of every practice. Maybe you move super slow and notice that. Our next pose we're gonna come into is shoelace pose. I like to use a blanket for this pose, but it's absolutely not necessary. Taking that left leg underneath, right leg over on top. If this is too much for your knees, you can take that left leg out straight and cross that right over as much as you can. Toes can go out to the side away from you or can be tucked up really close to your hips or even be right underneath you if that feels better for you. Sitting up nice and tall here, we're gonna take that left hand over to the left and right hand's gonna reach up and over. Noticing your breath here on this right side. All of us breathe more deeply on one side than the other. We have a preferred side. Is this yours or is this not? And then sweeping that right hand back down. I'm gonna take a little forward fold here. So your forward fold may be just up on fingertips or maybe your forward fold is hands all the way down to the floor, or the elbows to the floor. Take what feels most appropriate for your practice today. Reconnecting with your affirmation or intention for the day. And connecting with that sacral chakra, that source of our creativity, our flow. Starting to walk yourself back up to center, sitting up nice and tall, unwinding those legs. I like to take my legs out straight and just let them hang out there. But you can move or shift or take windshield wiper legs. Notice sensations that come up, like warmth or coolness in the legs or the hips. Feel those lingering sensations of the pose in this rebound. When you're ready, taking our second side. So tucking that right leg underneath or taking it out straight. Crossing that left over. You can use a blanket underneath your hips or between your legs or underneath your ankles if that feels better. Setting yourself up here nice and tall. And then walking that right hand over to the right. Left hand reaches up and over. Little side body stretch.
and sweeping that left hand back down alongside the hip making your way into a forward fold whatever that looks like for you today in your practice oftentimes in a morning practice my folds won't be quite as deep the body is still cold things have not warmed up and that's exactly when yin is really really effective for flexibility and mobility so now is a good time to explore that softening down toward the floor wherever that may be for you How is your breath in this moment? If this pose is one that's particularly challenging for you, your breath may be more shallow. And just softly begin to open up that space. Breathe a little deeper. Slowly start to walk your hands back in, come upright, unwind your pretzel shoelace legs. Take those legs out straight or take whatever rebound you like, movement or stillness. The memory of the pose stays a little bit longer than the pose. I'm just sensing that in your body beginning to notice some of the space we're opening up as we move into the morning body versus the night body. And then gently bending those knees. We're going to take our blanket across the center of the mat for a little cushioning. If your knees are sensitive, a blanket can be your very, very best friend. Coming on to your hands and knees for our next pose. Our next pose we're gonna take is a dragon pose. So walking your fingers over a little bit, you're gonna take that right leg out in front of you. Take both hands to the inside. Lift that back knee and kind of walk it back a little bit and then pull the knee toward you so you're on the very top right above the kneecap instead of the knee itself. Let that right knee fall out to the right. Give you a little opening here. And here you can come down as far as you feel comfortable. That could be hands, fingertips, it could be forearms, it could be all the way down if you want. Whatever is sustainable for a couple of minutes here. Sensing your breath in this pose, one of the most yang of the yin poses. Maybe gathering some strength from the dragon.
starting to bring that right foot flat, shifting back, and coming into child's pose or downward facing dog, whatever feels intuitive for you here. softly rocking back forward onto hands and knees this time walking the hands forward a little bit and over to the right taking that left leg out in front of you both hands to the inside of that foot lifting the back knee here again pulling it to you so you end up a little bit above the kneecap itself allowing that left leg to fall open this side doesn't do it as much for me but each side is different Noticing how this side is different from the last. Is it more open? Is there more space or less space? Is this easier or more challenging? Slowly bringing that left foot flat and starting to rock back, making your way here again, back into downward facing dog or child's pose or whatever pose makes sense for you here in between movement or stillness. Softly moving yourself back upright, taking that blanket off to the side if you were using that and coming all the way down onto your back. Bring the feet flat, knees toward the ceiling. You're gonna cross that right leg over the left. Pick the hips up a little bit and shift them over to the right. And then drop those knees over to the left, letting them fall with gravity. You can take your right hand to the outside of that knee, your left hand to the outside of that knee and your right hand out to the right. Reconnecting with your intention for your practice, for your day.
Gently turning your head back to center, releasing your hold on the knees and bringing them back through the middle. We're gonna move straight into the next side. So taking that left leg over the right, shifting the hips a little bit over to the left and dropping those knees over to the right this time. Right hand on the outside of the left leg or thigh and left hand out to the left. You can turn and look over your left shoulder or straight up. Gently starting to turn your head back to center, engaging your core, walking those feet back through center, unwinding, taking the feet wide, knees together, hands to belly and heart. Here you can stay for Shavasana in this position or you can take your heels out to the corners of the mat. Take your shoulder blades and gently tuck them underneath you so that your shoulders open Come back to that three-part breath, belly, chest, collarbones, exhaling, collarbones, chest, belly. Use your breath to infuse your affirmation or intention for your day, for creativity, whatever you need today. Creative boost, creative spark, more connection to the flow, that you have, new ideas or new methodologies. Repeating your intention or affirmation to yourself to help seal them into your day. And stay here as long as you have and I recommend staying as much as you can in Shavasana but if this is all the time that you have go ahead and bring your knees into your chest give them a little squeeze and gently roll over to your right side pressing yourself up to whatever seated position you like best hands together at the heart space Feeling a little gratitude for this time you've taken for yourself first thing in the day, setting the tone for the rest of your day. May you be happy. May you be safe and protected. May you be at peace. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I'll see you again soon.